Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we got the results of the Stack Overflow 2021 developer survey, a Java for Beginners roadmap, and we built a budget app in Python. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Check the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. In top news, Bootstrap 5.1 was released. We got the Stack Overflow 2021 developer survey results. We found out that 60% learned from online resources. It's no surprise that AWS is the most widely used cloud platform. React beats out jQuery as the most common web framework. Svelte is now the most loved framework, while React is the most wanted. JavaScript is the most popular programming language. VS Code is the most popular code editor. And PostgreSQL barely beats out MongoDB as the most wanted database this year. Now, I want to thank the sponsor of this week's Stacker News, Auth0. So let's say that you're building an app and you need to add users and authentication. What do you do? Well, you could spend the time and energy to build it all out yourself or you could just let Auth0 take care of it for you. Auth0 is the easiest way for developers to add authentication and secure their applications. They provide features like user management, multi-factor authentication, and you can even enable users to log in with device biometrics like fingerprints. Not to mention Auth0 has SDKs for your favorite frameworks like React, Next.js, and Node.js Express. Make sure to sign up for a free account and give Auth0 a try. A link is in the description below. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. In this video from Amigos Code, he shares with us the Java roadmap that you need to master Java. He covers Git, Core Java, Advanced Java, Build Tools, Databases, Logging, Testing, and Frameworks. Next up, Senna Goddess talks about the best tips to be a software developer. She says to remember, coding is hard. So learning how to code is something that will test you, but it's 100% doable as long as you do your best. It's great advice. In this next video, Philip Lackner covers six design patterns every Android developer must know. Design patterns are nice solutions to common problems in programming. As Android developers, there are a few that you need to know, and you'll learn about all of them in this video. Next up, Gwen at Faraday Academy builds a budget app using Python. This is part of Free Code Camp's Python Challenges. Be sure to check this one out. In this crash course, Leith Harb teaches Jest which is an amazing JavaScript testing framework. He covers matcher methods, testing async functions, setting up and tearing down tests, and mocks. Next up, we have another great crash course from Free Code Camp. In this one, Bo Carnes teaches the basics of HTML. If you're just getting started in web development, this is the first video that you should watch. And next, Tech World with Nana explains virtualization and virtual machines in just 15 minutes. What is a virtual machine? What is virtualization? Why is virtualization so useful? Watch this video to get the answers. How would you like to have your entire web development experience, all of the tools that you need completely inside VS Code? VS Code now has a browser, browser dev tools, and the console built in. Check out my latest video to see how to set it all up. Next up, this.steffi shows us how to optimize images using Nuxt image. She goes over what Nuxt and Nuxt image is, how to use it, and even how to deploy it using Vercel. In this next short video, Jeff at Fireship thinks that we should all learn how to juggle to become better developers. There's no hope for me. Next up, Colby Fayak shows us how to use the Twitter API with nextauth.js and nextjs serverless functions. He goes over the Twitter API, the tools that you'll need, configuring API keys, and much more. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was eight projects to build to master your front-end skills. The best way to learn is by doing, so give some of these projects a try. For podcasts, you have to listen to the sixth season premiere of the Ladybug podcast. The ladies discuss how to go about choosing a tech stack. Instagram also has a great coding community. Here's a highlight from last week, and this one from IT Challenges, you'll learn about five useful Chrome extensions for devs 
in this short carousel. And be sure to check out Code with Corgis for some animated fun learning videos. In this one, you'll learn how to create Hello World in Node.js. Now again, there's more info in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. And be on the lookout for some bonus highlights throughout the week in YouTube Shorts format. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.